it had cut out the the uh, the space had ended and so I had to upload everything up to my laptop and um, come back on here and kind of complete what it was that I was saying and to also clarify some things as well. I know I was on 10. I done had about 30 minutes to, uh, you know, to, to kind of, you know, calm down a little bit and make some sense in case I was all over the place and in case y'all motherfuckers didn't get it, okay? Um, let me also clarify um, about... Um, my nursery skills or my green thumb if you will or my um my um readiness and willingness and to grow things i grow all kinds of things that's just simply you know some of the plants that um uh, that you know i grow tomatoes onions lettuce tomatoes onions pickles all that old whatever way they say it that okay um avocados and lemons and oranges and all that old type of shit yeah i'm that motherfucker i like to um grow different things and so that's just you know how i grow my trees and my brush and my things around my pad okay um and uh if it was offensive to some people then hey i'm sorry this is what's happening this is my channel and this is how i do things um and let me also say allegedly because in case some motherfuckers be like well how come you didn't say allegedly allegedly this is the way in which i do you know what i'm saying and so if it ain't your thing it ain't your thing and keep it moving um and what else I was going to clarify? I was going to clarify something else, too. I kind of forgot. <laughs> but I know that I was talking about um, different stages of your life require a different you. And you know what, family? That is, it, it rings so true to life. It's so real. You know, um, that as I've been saying, that, you know, it's been seven years for me. This ain't been no crystal stair. This ain't been no easy thing. This ain't been no easy thing to do. You know, I've had... A lot of things happen on this motherfucking platform. You know what I'm saying? Happened to me. You know, I've hurt feelings. I've had my feelings hurt. You know, I've grown. And that's the whole thing. And like I'm saying, every stage of your life is going to require a different you. You can't wear the same thing, hang with the same people, deal with the same um, employer or, you know, whatever. Or stay in the same company and expect a different outcome. You're going to have to um, evolve in your life. You have to grow unless you're going to be stagnated. You're going to just be in one spot. Who wants to do that? No. I want to I wanna see, th see things, do things, taste all kinds of shit, go see, do, look. I want to do all that old type of shit. And to do that, um, you have to also be open. You know what I'm saying? You have to be open to a lot of things. And I like to know a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I like to be versed. On a lot of things. And I like, okay, if we all talk about something, I don't want to be the nigga in the room. Like, what they talking about? What that, what the nigga say? Yo, I don't want to be that one. I don't want to be the motherfucker up there that's just so like, damn, what is they talking about? Nah. I want to be, um, I want to be versed. Whether we talking about politics or economics or we sitting up here, we talking about nature or, you know, we talking about metaphysic, meta, uh, meta, uh, meta, metaphys uh, metaphysical things, um, whatever. You know, I, whatever we're talking about, we're talking about different religions. You know, I'm spiritual myself. You know, I, I'm one to tend to respect other people's beliefs. If that's how you get down, okay, then so be it. Then this is where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm that. You know, but I also respect what other people do and how they do their thing. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I know what I was called to do. That's what I'm trying to um, figure out my full life's purpose. Why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? You know, and there's a lot of times when you're trying to figure those things out, sometimes you got to get out the way, get out the race. So then therefore shit can slow down and you can really figure out your purpose and what is it that you're supposed to do or fine tune it. Okay. And therefore kind of stay on path. Sometimes you got to go back when shit was once right in your path and then start back from that point. I've had to do that in numerous times of my life, in my weight loss journey and so many other things. I had to go back to the time was right to where it was like everything was working on all cylinders. Everything was cool. Let me go back to that spot right there and then now let me carry on over, you know, and keep on pushing. But, uh, yeah, that's how you grow, you know what I mean? You want to circulate and assimilate with people that... Uh, are doing all kinds of different things. You don't want just one type of friends. You know what I mean? You don't want just one type of nationality of people around you. 
You on different belief systems sometimes because what it's giving you is range. You know what I'm saying? It's giving you range. So when you're in, you know, um, a social environment and everybody's talking about everything, you just not the one in the room like, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. I can't read the shit they say. It. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying. Don't let motherfuckers just tell you some shit. Look that shit up. Y'all motherfuckers really got Google and shit that we didn't have. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, it don't make no motherfucking sense for motherfuckers to not know what the hell's going on. When nowadays, you ain't even got to have no motherfucking laptop. Nigga, your Obama phone, do all kind of motherfucking shit. Nigga, go on over there to McDonald's or goddamn uh, a pan, pan, Panera Bread or one of them motherfuckers and get you some Wi-Fi. Nigga, look some shit up. Quit bullshitting. It don't make no sense for motherfuckers to be stagnated these days. I'm, I don't understand. You know, we in the land of the free, the home of the motherfucking brave. Some motherfuckers don't want to believe that, but life is what you make it. And if all you feel and sense in your life is a whole bunch of negative shit, then that's going to be your reality. Talk some good shit into your motherfucking life. Start mingling with some other motherfuckers. Stop thinking that your motherfucking ass is above them because them niggas ain't got what you got. Fuck all that. Along your path, you are going to meet people that are going to help you along your motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Stop judging motherfuckers based on what they look like and all that other shit because all shit ain't good shit. Let me just go and say that right now. All shit ain't good shit just because it look good. Man, there's so many motherfuckers out here with mental health issues that sexy and fine as a motherfucker. And throw the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Throw the fuck off. There's motherfuckers right now that's just existing around this motherfucker just waiting on some road rage, any motherfucking thing for them niggas to just go haywire. Listen, it is cliff bound motherfuckers watching this shit here right now. Okay? Ready to just pounce on the motherfucker, waiting on some shit to just go. This and that, and what them motherfuckers can blow the fuck up. Calm down. Calm down. Real shit. Calm down. Take your motherfucking supplements. And once again, I say, I take. Now, for me, this is my channel. This is what the fuck I do for my shit all around me. I take probiotic. I take turmeric. I take Ellison. And I take NAC. Those are my four supplements that I take every day. You want to understand why? Okay, why she got this glow? Why she this right here? Why she this right here? The motherfucker, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm an 80-20 motherfucker. I do 80% of decent shit and 20% of the bullshit. That's just the way I live my motherfucking life. You want to know? That's it right there. That's what the fuck I do, okay? And you got to have some form of balance. You have to. In every portion of your life. You know, you have to not be afraid of change. That's one motherfucking thing right there I'm kind of battling is because it's like I get so rigid and I get so accustomed to doing the same thing, eating the same thing, doing the same thing. And like, you know, baby have to kind of take me out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I understand that that's helping me grow. Because you cannot grow in comfort. You can't. You can't do the same thing and expect a different motherfucking outcome. How the fuck that's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? You, nigga, you're doing the same thing. But one thing that you can remember, though, and stand firm on, when you have learned everything that you are supposed to learn about that person, about that instance, about that job, it, uh, or scenario, whatever it is, then you're just going to push past it as if it never really existed. It's not going to hurt you that you, you don't detach yourself from it. You're going to continue along your path and whatever that was or whoever that was, you're going to wish them well. You're going to wish them no harm to them, but you're okay. I'm not there anymore. I don't live there anymore. I'm going forward. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going forward. And that is what you're supposed to be doing in your lives. A lot of you guys um, watch Auntie and you guys respect me and all that kind of stuff. And I love y'all for it, you know. Just like when I, we saw the young lady in Trader Joe's and stuff. You know, Auntie really appreciated. I really do. You know, I love you guys for it. I didn't ask for this. I was just given this. God placed me here. You know what I mean? This ain't something that I sought to do. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect none of this, you know. But I knew that there was a calling upon my life. I got that call. If you didn't get that call, then therefore you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know what call I was given. I'm just answering the call. I'm just doing the best thing that I can do with what I'm working with. 
It might not work for some people, and that's okay. Everything ain't for everybody, and everybody everybody vibrates on a different frequency. My my shit might not go to your level. I might not be over there where you at, but it's okay. You have to respect where another person is at in their path. And if that ain't your shit, so what? If this motherfucker ain't looking up the par and her shit is this and this and this and this and this, who the fuck are you to say, okay, bitch, you need to fix that lip liner or you need to fix this, that, and this, bitch, bitch, you still ain't, what? It ain't doing nothing but telling me more about you than it is about the motherfucker that you really talking about. Really. Because first of all, last I check, you really don't punch down. I'm not going to punch down. I've punched down a lot of times in my life, okay? I'm not going to fight battles that I feel as though, nigga, I ain't even on your, I ain't even on your vibration. Nigga. What the fuck am I going to punch down for? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. And that's one thing that you have to start getting in your life, that you know what? Some battles, you're not going to win. Everybody is not going to like you. You're not going to be everybody's motherfucking cup of tea. But as long as you okay with you... You've owned the fact that, check this out, this is who the fuck I am, I'm working on me, I am a sinner, I'm not a saint, I'm a student, sometimes a teacher, but guess what, I make mistakes, I have human frailties, I'm not 100 all the motherfucking time, I got this wrong, that wrong, whatever, but I'm trying to do the best I can with what I got, can I just do the best motherfucking thing I can? What? What? And at that point in time, if that person is not accepting you or that situation is not working, and therefore, guess what? That ain't where you're supposed to be. You cannot put a triangle in a motherfucking uh, square. So then, therefore, check this out. That ain't where you're supposed to be. And anything that walks away from you is not tied to your destiny any motherfucking way. Anything that's for you, nigga, you can't get rid of that motherfucking shit. Somehow or another, you just end up back together like, God damn. You just continue because there's something in that situation or in that relationship or in that union or whatever or in that job that you have not conquered, seen, or done yet. Okay? You ain't completed that obstacle course yet. You still got things to learn. And what you need to do is accept the fact that this is a learning experience. I might not do everything right. Don't judge me for, for what the fuck is going on in my path. Nigga, you pay attention to your road. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here on my shit. Okay? And sometimes you might have to back out. Just like auntie, I have to back out sometimes. I have to get my bearings, figure out what I'm trying to do. You know, if that means I'm over here burning motherfucking incense and sage and every goddamn corner in my motherfucking house, I ain't hurt nobody. I'm minding my own motherfucking business, I eat. My kids are fine. Everybody healthy. What? I pray every day. Meditate. I take care of my mind, body, and soul. Nigga, what else you want? Shit, what? You know what I'm saying? Integrity is everything to me. I, You know, I, I, I tend to treat people the way in which I want to be treated. You know, if I intentionally hurt you, that ain't my thing. I don't intentionally hurt anybody. So that is not my thing because I, I believe in karma. I believe God give it and take it away. And I, I'm trying to hold on to every motherfucking thing I got. So why the fuck am I going to fuck with you? That's the mindset you need to have. It's like at the end of the motherfucking day, I don't want to be cooked, pulled on the carpet for this bullshit right here. Let me rewrite that wrong. You know what? If I fucked you over, I am truly sorry. I did not mean to do that. Probably I did on some aspects of it. But where I was at that point in time, you have to understand that people that are hurting tend to hurt other people. You know, and they tend to fuck with people that they know that they can win. You know, oh, I can fuck with that motherfucker right there, nigga. That, nigga, that's a scrimmage. No contest. It's nothing with that. You know? So, but, you know, still, you know, start thinking and in, 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 in taking inventory of your life and looking at the part that you played and some shit. Because sometimes it, not, not, it might not be them motherfuckers. It might be your ass. You know, it might be your motherfucking ass that need to be redirected. It might be your motherfucking ass that might need to be one to sit down, you know, figure some shit out, regroup, spend some alone time with your motherfucking self, figure out where you're trying to go, you know, and map out your motherfucking plan. Write that shit down. Speak it with your own tongue and be patient with the process. Believe that it's going to manifest itself. That's one thing I do also believe, um, um, wholeheartedly and firm with. I do believe in the law of attraction. I do believe that what you see, feel, and you put your place there, then God damn it, you, if you put yourself there and you can see yourself there, nigga, you're going to be there at some point in time in your life. If that is what it is you choose to do, don't waver from that shit. You have to be consistent. 
You know, I know it's hard. I, hey, nigga, I'm nigga, I'm the queen of fuck up. I done fucked up so many motherfucking times in my goddamn life, nigga. I'm battered, bruised, all kind of shit, but I ain't broken, no. You know what I'm saying? I done bent a whole bunch of motherfucking time, but God damn it, I am far from broken. I, that's one thing I ain't gonna be. Okay, I'll be a whole bunch of motherfucking things. You can call me all kind of shit. I'm, I'll probably answer to some of that motherfucking shit. But at the end of the motherfucking day, I know who the fuck I am. And I ain't gonna run from it. If I'm that, you know what, nigga? Goddamn, dog. You know what? You right, the motherfucker. I did that. Goddamn, that didn't look right, did it? I did it, though. God don't make mistakes. For whatever reason, I did that dumb ass shit because there was a lesson to learn from, for that shit. You know, it worked out. I didn't get no horn brought to me. Motherfucker wasn't robbed. I, my pussy wasn't taken from me and nothing. So then, shit. I done that dumb ass shit. God damn, that was stupid as hell. You know? I mean, we all do some dumb shit. But as you get older, sometimes you look back at it and be like, damn. That was a fucked up ass situation. But damn, I learned so much during that bullshit. Hold on. A lot of motherfuckers got a fear of getting older and all that kind of stuff. But your chronological age ain't got shit to do with nothing. When you really look at the grand scheme of things, people don't really give a fuck about how much you weigh or how much how old you are. It's about really what you look like and what type of integrity you hold. You know? That's what it's about. You know, what you look like in certain aspects, okay? And then on the other aspects is the integrity that you hold, you know? Be, you know, you have to also be responsible for the energy that you bring, you know? Stop, 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 stop giving motherfuckers, uh, if, if, if you ain't trying to be looking like that, then stop doing that then. You know what I'm saying? Why you keep doing that, mother? Get off the treadmill, motherfucker. Why you keep doing the same dumbass shit, but then want something else to change? It's not going to. You got to get real about you. You know what? I'm a fuck up. I've been fucking up. Nigga, I've been doing some fucked up shit, wrong shit for a long goddamn time. Who the fuck am I fooling? I ain't fooling nobody but me. You know, why won't God bless me with abundance? Shit, motherfucker, he's blessing you with what you deserve. You full of shit. So he ain't doing nothing but giving you what you deserve. A gang of shit. God ain't going to bless no mess. You better understand that. Okay, understand that shit right there. If don't nothing else make sense, you know, I don't play with God. I don't do that. I feel the raft, okay, from a nigga that done died before and then came back. Okay, let me just tell you right now, okay. A lot of this shit is really bigger than us, and a lot of times you got to look at shit differently. You got to step out of the box sometimes. You know, I know your friends going to talk about you, going to be like, you know what, that motherfucker wants to be with shit. You know what, that bitch is a little nigga. That nigga. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker over there with all kind of crystals and shit. I don't know what that bitch got going. Work, worry about your own motherfucking path. Okay? Stop worrying about trying to appease these motherfuckers. They got their own shit to do. You know what I'm saying? They so worried about what the fuck you doing. Them niggas is, them niggas is all out of their path. Them niggas is swinging on trees upside down. Them motherfuckers on some dumb shit. Stay on your road. Stay on your motherfucking path. There's going to be all kind of bullshit that's going to hit you along the way. But you, if you stop at every motherfucking dog that barks, you ain't gonna never get where the fuck you going. Sometimes you gotta ignore shit, Nikki. Nikki, ignore some shit. Don't punch down to this motherfucker. I, I ain't got, you know, Remy Ma, okay, I respect what you're doing, all that old type of shit. Got a lovely husband, beautiful black love, all that old type of shit. Got all that. But honestly, though, in my opinion... Nicki Minaj, whether she write her own shit or whatever, I don't give a fuck about none of that. This is what she do for a living. That's how she make her motherfucking money. Who the fuck am I to say that she ain't this, 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 bitch, you ain't this, this, this. The motherfuckers that's talking about shit is motherfuckers that can't do what she doing. That's just gonna be crystal clear. Motherfuckers that's talking about Kim Kardashian, all the, all the motherfuckers that be talking about, their, it's their own insecurities. When you get to a point in your life where you don't give a fuck about what this motherfucker over here is doing, because they got their own burden to bear. They got their own price to pay for what the fuck they're doing. Stop judging all these motherfuckers. Oh, this motherfucker over there, this bitch thinks she did. This bitch thinks she did. Who the fuck you think you are then? Shit. Or who do you think you're not? Which one is it? You know? Because as you begin to get older, I'm 45 motherfucking years old according to my license. You know what I'm saying? That's what that shit say. You know? But, you know, still... You can live your best motherfucking life. You can get as healthy as you want and enjoy the process while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't where the fuck I want to be. I got a long motherfucking way to go. But God damn it, nigga. Uh, my path is lit. I'm having fun in a motherfucker. I'm having the best sex I've ever had in my motherfucking life. I am in love. I'm having fun. I'm faithful. I ain't, I ain't about no motherfucking bullshit. I'm buying my own business, you know what I'm saying? My kids is doing their thing. Son won the championship and shit. Y'all saw I post that shit on social, uh, what you call it, 
They won the championship. They got size for their little rings and all that old type of shit. He got his little paperwork and all that. Man, it's, it's a lovely time. My son, he been at the post office doing his motherfucking thing all this time. Just doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga still ain't never called off. Ain't never been late to work. You know? My daughter got her little job. About to graduate from high school. No problem. You know what I'm saying? About to go off to college. No problem. My baby, 15 years old, minding his own motherfucking biz. Now he, that nigga's getting scouted as we speak. You understand me? I'm doing my job. I'm minding my own motherfucking business. Uh, pussy is pH balanced. Don't worry about that neither. You know what I'm saying? Everything is on 10. I'm minding my own business. I got growth all around me. I got all kind of motherfucking hummingbirds, butterflies, motherfucking dragonflies, all them motherfuckers. All them motherfuckers come see about me. I got uh, cats and shit I can't keep from jumping over this motherfucking gate to come see what time it is, what you got for me to eat. You know what I mean? That's who I am. I ain't got no extra airs. I ain't trying to put no tin on nothing. I got to keep motherfucking goddamn little things coming in my goddamn room. I'm like, goddamn. It'll be all kind of crickets and lizards and all kind of motherfuckers, even little cats and shit. Y'all remember that shit came in my motherfucking room? I'm like, damn. You know, when you have that type of energy, you can't keep shit from, you know, coming to you because you become magnetic to things. Things want to gravitate. Things gravitate to your soul. You know, gravitate to you want to be around you. I ain't mad at it. This is just where the fuck I'm at in my path. You know what I mean? I'm just cognizant, I'm just sharp, I'm just conscious, I'm just looking, I'm just paying attention, but I'm minding my own business and staying in my own motherfucking lane, you know what I mean? And it's me plus motherfucking three, I'm toting my kids, and I got my man right here, man, I'm up under his right arm, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I ain't got time to be fucking with nobody, you know, I stay out the way because sometimes I need to. It's not the fact that I'm running from anybody or I'm trying to whatever, whatever. I'm just not on that frequency. I'm doing my own motherfucking thing. I'm trying to take care of business. I'm trying to take care of my kids, take care of my home, save some shit for me, trying to grow. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know I do need to be more consistent and come on because this, I love this. I love this exchange because I know that there is somebody that's watching this that's also getting a light bulb moment like that right now. Like an aha, like, oh my God, I never really looked at it like that. Tina, God damn, I never even looked at it like that until you said that. Sometimes it take a motherfucker like me to help you see what you don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to look at that shit. Nigga, sometimes it's your motherfucking and You wondering why God ain't bringing you no motherfucking husband? Because you keep fucking somebody else's, god damn it. You keep wondering why ain't no good motherfucking women, ain't no good black women and all that other kind of shit. Nigga, because you disrespecting our motherfucking asses so goddamn bad, you know? You wondering why motherfuckers is just doing all this shit right here and all this. Why I keep getting niggas that I got to take care of? Because motherfuckers, you taking money from motherfuckers and you over here... You know, hooking and crooking on motherfuckers and shit. So then, therefore, you have to look at the part that you play in every situation and scenario. It ain't always the person that you're accusing. And a lot of times, you're accusing that motherfucker because you're trying to take the focus off of the shit that you're doing. Okay? So then, therefore, be cognizant a little bit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'm only, I'm not only am I speaking to y'all, I'm also speaking my own shit too. You know what I'm saying? Because I fall short sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I fall short sometimes, but God damn it, I got eight times fucking, and, and God damn it, I stumble, but I don't God damn fall. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I ain't gonna do. Now, I'm probably stumble, crip walk a little bit, you know what I'm saying, do some other bullshit, a couple st steps to the name of love and all that old type of shit, but goddamn it, falling, damn it. You know, I'm trying not to fall, because I don't know I ain't got but eight times, but let me stumble around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my gait right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyway, we are in our anniversary month. You know, pray of my consistency that I am consistent in every aspect of my life. I ask that you continue to pray for my health and well-being. Pray for my soul. You know what I'm saying? You know, pray that, you know, Tina's making the right decisions. That she's, you know, because I'm very cognizant. So every motherfucking thing that I do in my life, it was the best decision that I have made based on the options that I have. And that's one thing also that you need to, you know, think about. Just quit doing shit out of impulse. Quit doing shit without thinking shit through. You know what I'm saying? And pick the best option out of, you know, the best, make the best decision out of the options that you have. Really, real shit. You know, tell them motherfuckers, I can't, I can't give you no yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me go home. Let me think about this. Let me put one up in the air. Let me, you know, have a little truth serum. Let me talk to my mama. 
You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But also be mindful that you can talk to some people and a lot of people don't want, you know, they, they, they ain't really trying to see you doing better than them and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, some people kind of block you from your motherfucking blessing too. That's why at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you got to believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go go to God and, you know, God, I'm back by your grace. I know you ain't going to take me nowhere where I don't need to go. Sometimes you're going to take me some place that you know I need to grow. You know? So you got to... You got to look at a shit a certain type of way. So anyway, family, on that note, I love you guys. We didn't kick nobody out. We're going to do this shit. Hey, hey, we're growing some shit all over this motherfucker. Avocado, lettuce, tomatoes, motherfucking uh, onions, and all that old type of shit. Lemons and goddamn apricots, huh? Is we growing everything. We growing every motherfucking thing around this part, baby. We keeping it green. We hugging trees. You know what I mean? We got water bells of rainwater and shit to recycle around this motherfucker, huh? Yeah. All right, on that note, I'm gone, family. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You have a, you guys have an awesome day, an awesome week. We're going to come back up in this motherfucker before it's over with. God damn it, we ain't going nowhere. They ain't running us off. How the fuck are you going to run us off? It's too much room. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. How about that? It's room for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Find out where you can stand on that and do your thing. On that note, deuces, I'm out. Love you guys. Bye. How?